Bro, you're the nicest UFC fighter in the world, dude. Shout out, basement talk, man. But I'm gonna buy at least two of your ears off. I make more than a million dollars in a day sometimes. <laughs> you better buy that. You guys have a lot of female. Uh, We've had ladies you, on you here. Know what? Three or four. Tell her our percentage. Yeah, tell, of male. tell her our audience. viewing rate. Okay. Oh, the viewers. I wasn't even thinking about the viewers. Yeah, yeah. So it's like ninety-six percent male. Oh, they're gonna love this. So we have a lot of female. There it. you go. Yeah. So it's pretty crazy. That's like Jackson too. I feel like yeah. I was the first female he had on his podcast. Oh wow. Yeah. I, was, I felt very honored. Wow. That's awesome. And now he did it. I saw on his on his Instagram today he had another chick on there, and I was like, really? Wow. Did that you make you Yeah. You get salty already. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. But, but thank you for coming on. Yeah, so welcome to Basement it. Talk. Welcome. Uh, so happy that we're not actually in a basement. Yeah, I know. Actually, actually if I would have known that was the name of it oh. before I got here, I would have been even more sketched out. <laughs> Remember? Like yeah. when I told you why, I'm like, I could be getting like traffic, human traffic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know that the Guys, podcast had the word basement. That's not how we make our mouths feel. That's not what goes down at Basement Talk. No. Legal. That would have been even But we actually did get you a gift from Basement Talk. I love gifts. Here is... Uh, oh, you guys are so cute. Kyler. Happy Valentine's That's Day from, almost. Thank you, guys. Yeah, of course. Do you guys get these for your male uh No, no Kobe does. The mail. <laughs> what the? Thank Kobe you. Yeah. Keep these when was the last here. time a guy got you flowers? I, I was just going to say, it's been a while. Actually, that's not true. My ex sent me flowers recently. Whoa. Mm. Recently? Well, he sends them to the house. Oh, okay. Like, he doesn't live here anymore. Is he, he trying to get back or? Um... Aren't they all? Like, isn't that always, true? Yeah, that's you know true. what I mean? If you're sending flowers. I've yeah, been Kobe to get, does that. Yeah, I've Kobe tried, definitely sends yeah. flowers. Yeah, Do I send you? Flowers. Send a whole garden. It's a lost art, though. <laughs> Not a lot of people. Yeah. I feel like guys start when they first start seeing you, and they're like, oh, I'm going to like give you flowers and bring you flowers, and then it just dies. So they're just like setting themselves up and... Progressively getting worse. It's not yeah. a long lasting gift, though. Yeah. I only do it like two or three times and then. And I then you kinda, stop. I kind of stop, yeah. See? I know, I need to keep going. Why do you stop though? Is it because you don't have to give flowers anymore? Yeah, or? I just get lazy. Like, I don't open the See, door. How, or, how <laughs> hard is it to like, go and buy a thing? I know, of flowers. it's not hard. It's, it's not, not hard. hard at all. It's not hard at all. It's the thought. That's yeah. what, that's no, what exactly. it is. No, exactly. But yeah, Thanks, thank man. you for coming on. I'm so happy to be this here. This is so cool. But are you originally from Orange County? No, I am originally from a small little farm town in Central California. Oh, wow. Yeah, called Merced. It is right between Fresno and Modesto, I think. I'm not like a geography. So you're not major, even like a real OC girl. Hmm? You're not a homegrown OC girl. I've technically lived in Orange County longer than I've lived anywhere else in my life. I've been here since what, like 20 years almost now. Okay. Wow. But I was not born here, so I can't mm. take that title. Do <laughs> your like friends and your family like over there still are they like following you massively now so that's or what what's do they really, think about it that's what's really weird so my family like my mom i'm first generation in the states my mom is you know born born in italy i have a big italian family and she actually so my both of my parents were military brats and their my mom's dad mm. got stationed in at travis air force base and which is and then somehow they migrated to merced right very small town. So she was there for a very long period of time since high school. So she's got a lot of roots in that town where I grew up. So a lot of her friends are still there. There's some of our family members that are still there. And when I look back, I'm like, holy shit, these people, like I left that town when I was 15 and people now like watching the show, they're like, oh my God, she made it. Like she got <laughs> out and yeah. she made oh. it, you know? And it's, I never really thought about it like that until like my mom's friends come to visit us or like I talk to my aunt. What age were you like when you moved to 15, 15, 15. Yeah. Wow. right in the middle of high school. Is that weird that for you? Fun. That was tough. It was really hard, really, really, really hard to make new friends and the whole, and orange County girls can be mean. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, for sure. But I was, I already had pretty thick skin from where I grew up, like <laughs> country girl. <laughs> yeah. And there's uh, different parts of OC though. Like which part? Cause girls get meaner like in different parts. Do they? Oh yeah, well, for sure. Wait, like what's the meanest part? Mean. I would yeah. say like Newport Beach. Yeah, Newport. Oh yeah, I know. I was Dana Facts. Point. So maybe it was Dana a little Point's better. Dana Point's better. I feel like there's still some serious bitches. The more Every, beachy, the more bitch. That's the more how beachy, I think. the more bitch. Yeah. Facts. Okay, Damn. True. Okay, fair. Yeah, that's facts. That's fair. Yeah, yeah Laguna Beach, <clears throat> serious serious bitchery over there a lot Newport of the dudes Beach. over there are bitchy too yeah there you go <laughs> the dudes <laughs> yeah <Really>? laguna <laughs> oh yeah that's for sure yeah, yeah. not all of them though not i have some really good friends from laguna but shout out laguna so the people in your hometown say you made it right but would you say for yourself that you've made De it 
absolutely. I mean, I'm still, I'm still going. I'm yes. still, I'm still on the upward, you know, trajectory, but definitely. And I mean, not even just from getting out of a small town, it's just like my life and my journey. It hasn't been necessarily like the easiest or the most orthodox route to take, mm. but definitely, I think I've definitely made it. Yeah. Let's and go. I'm continuing to make it. Ooh, so ooh. Yeah. did you go to college? No. School of hard knocks, baby. Um, I did actually, I tried. <laughs> um, and then I got pregnant at 18 and then it just didn't happen. I, I, and then I went back after, so I got married, had my daughter and then I tried going back to school, which Saddleback, I went to Saddleback after that. And same. And um, gauchos. It was just, is that what they are? I forgot. Yeah. I oh actually God. started a Saddleback frat. Really? Yeah. No, no. Oh. It's pretty exclusive. <laughs> it's just me and Kyler. He's like, it's just us. Yeah. It's just That's cool. No. Um, but yeah, no, it was, uh, it was just like, what am I, like, I wanted to be an attorney before I got pregnant. And my daughter teases me. She's like, did, did you give up on your dreams because you got <laughs> pregnant with me? And I'm like, are you insane? And she just, she's, she's being facetious. But, um, and then my husband at the time, he was an attorney. And I was like, there can't be two attorneys. Like, I've got to be mom. You know what I mean? And so I went a different route and I was mom, mom, mom. And then outgrew that and went into real estate. And the rest is history. So when did you get your real estate license? How old were you? I've had my license for over a decade. So oh. I was 23. Cool. Wow. So 11 years. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I give you mad props too, because you're doing the show. That's a lot. You're yeah. a mom. That's a lot. How, and you're how selling is that homes, juggling all that's like a doing podcasts. That's crazy. Podca yeah, you're I doing mean, a it's, podcast it's with us. I give you mad props. I, and I and I'm that's like, crazy. I, oh, homeowners yeah, are needy too. Sorry. I said homeowners are needy, just like kids. They're very needy, but there's yeah, they're very. Everyone's needy. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think it's just I'm the common denominator. I attract needy people, <laughs> I think, and needy dogs, needy siblings, everybody. But that's okay. Cause I, I, I'm a giver, so that's fine. How do you facilitate it all? I, I figured out the art of juggling, honestly. Mm. It's and balance and saying no to a lot of things that don't add value to my life. Um, and I'm really big on energy. I'm really mm. big on like, like, of course there's things that I have to do that I don't want to do, but if, if I don't have to do something, it's a, it's like, just, no, it's not, on, not going to be on my plate. Sorry. Yeah, so course. I say no to a lot of things. How long did it take you to get your first <laughs> transaction? How long did it take me to what? To get the first transaction. Oh gosh, I had my first transaction. Had to, had to have been within six months. Awesome, that's I remember that's really good. talking to my broker and he was like, if somebody, unless, like, unless you're a very rare breed and you're the exception to the rule, if you're not having your first sale within six months, like you're doing something wrong mm -hmm. or you're in the wrong business. Like it's just not made for you. And it was just at the six month mark. It was, it was before six months. I know <laughs> okay, that. Okay. And it was, it probably wasn't like right out of the gate. Cause I remember getting discouraged. My first sale was actually the house I grew up in my, when we moved here, but it wasn't my parents' home. My parents sold it what? and then it came and then, yeah. And the people Whoa, that moved into that's it. That's a trip. That's weird. Yeah. It's like they full circle. called my mom and they were like, Hey, we're going to sell the house. Um, just letting them know. And it's the house, like my, my grandmother passed away in that house. She lived with us for 15 years. She had Parkinson's disease. And so I think it was just like a respect thing. Like, Hey, we're selling the home. And she's like, Oh, you should call my daughter. And it's the stars just aligned. And it was like, I knew more things about that home than the homeowners even knew about that home because my dad's a contractor. And so we did a lot of the work in the house and it just, it was brilliant. It was great. It worked out great. It's awesome. For yeah, it was really fun. What did that do to your confidence after? I've always had a lot of confidence. There so we go. it was just like one of those things. I remember even walking in and I was like, this is in the bag. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> but that's kind of also, it's like, believe it till you become it kind of thing. So I had, I've always had the mentality that like, I'm already there. Does that make sense? Mm. And so obviously there's things that scare me and things that challenge me and things that I'm afraid of, but I lean into that. I lean into that uncomfortability and it's gotten me to where I am. There we go. And, now you got your first sale. What has been your biggest transaction? Biggest transaction. Well, my biggest listing to date, and he keeps changing the price. <laughs> Dang. It's started out at being 50, 48 million, and it's still being built. And now and every week I have a phone call with him and he's like, I want 70. I want 80. <laughs> I'm like, let's just get up. it built and mm -hmm. then we'll assess where we're at mm -hmm. in the market and what the product yes. is. Where is but that located? That's in Newport Beach. Well, in oh. Cameo Shores. Okay. And what's the biggest problem trying to manage something like that? 
manage the client, the transaction, client, the house. transaction, all, all together. What's like the most challenging part? I think the most challenging part is, I wouldn't even call it. Cha- okay. So the most p- challenging part usually of a transaction for me is dealing with the agent on the other side. Mm. Not because I don't do well with them. It's just, there's only a certain level of agents that know how to handle a p- transaction properly. Right. And to make it as smooth as possible. So there's a lot of agents right now out there, right? Everybody, you know, we all know somebody that's got their license, Everybody's right? Got their license, yeah. And so when you get these agents that have very little experience and they just get really, really lucky and get a really massive client or a really good client, buyer or seller, and they don't know how to, they don't know how to dance and do the process of a transaction. So a lot of these people have really big egos. So they're looking at you as an enemy and not an ally. And I'm like, Mm. we have the same goal. So that's very challenging. And I I feel like I've kind of perfected how to help the other agent on the other side without overstepping to make it smooth. And I kind of control the elements, but the most, I, I guess when it comes to just having a seller or a buyer in general, before we're in a transaction, it would be trying to help them keep emotions out of it Mm -hmm. because that's when things there's sometimes regret or there's disappointment. And so I'm just constantly trying to, I'm level headed, right? Like I'm working for the deal. Right. And I'm, I'm listening to the client. I know what they want. I know what they've told me. And sometimes when you get so excited about something, you forget even what you want yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, Oh, my budget's 2 million. And they fall in love with the house and they're like, it's two, five. And they're like, well, we don't care. I'm like, well, you're going to be really upset. Like, could you afford it? Yeah. But after all these things you've told me, you got, you know, the kids are going to college next year or, you know, husband's job might be shaky, might be changing, you know, changing his career. I'm like, these are not positions you want to put yourself in. And I'm like, let's think about it. Have a night. We'll talk tomorrow. And they're like, yeah, that was the right yeah, decision. Hopeful you know what I mean? There's the so side. many. And I bet it's frustrating working with agents <laughs> on the other side because I feel like there's so many like. It's a lot of brand new real estate Males agents. and females that like literally don't know what to do with their life. And then they get their real estate license and then they have like real estate in their bio. And then they like think <laughs> yeah. that they know everything. Luxury real estate agent. Yeah, that's fast. With quotes. <laughs> like they think that they, and then they do like little yeah. TikToks and shit. Oh, okay, and don't hate though because they're building. No, they are. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. To like, have the confidence mm-hmm. to show up on social media and do that kind of stuff, that yeah. takes a lot of courage. It does. And you can have one follower or 1 million followers and that takes a lot and people can grow. Everyone has to start somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So it's again, kind of like believe it until you become it, like fake it till you make it. But, but how, how much does the courage outweigh the actual knowledge or skill of selling a house? Well, here's kind of the thing, what I say about, about real estate or a lot of businesses, it's like the job, the, the job that you're applying for, they're like, well, do you have experience? And you're like, no, I don't have experience, but I want the job so that I can have experience. So it's again about starting somewhere, right? And so they might not have the experience and it might not align with what they're posting on social media or TikTok, but they're, they're putting themselves in that, in that mind frame. Do you have any assistants? I have assistants. Yeah. How many? Just one. Just one. And she's a virtual assistant. And it took me a very, very long time to even hire an assistant. And I've had multiple assistants throughout my career, but, um, I'm very, particular in how I like my business run. And so when I've tried to hire assistants in the past, it almost ended up being more work for me because training them is not easy. And I'm just like, I'm doubling my work by trying to delegate and offload some of the the tasks for me, but then I'm having to micromanage you. And it was, it's just, I was like, whatever, I'll just do it myself. But now I do have an assistant and I love her and, um, but she's virtual. So she's not able to like handle any of the things that our day-to-day real life like tangible things when did you get into this this group you're in now the it's oppenheim group group. the oppenheim group yeah (laughs) why do you say it like that oh gosh just (laughs) because it's unlike any brokerage you've ever experienced in your entire life my Um, sister goes to the christmas party she loves yeah that's a fun party (laughs) that's like the highlight of the year only females no. So Jason and Brett, my the brokers, yeah. right? The owners of the Oppenheim Group. Their brothers, they started correct? it out, I think, with primarily female. Like it was pretty much all their exes, basically. <laughs> That's hard. Um, <laughs> and they That's sick. I think it was all females. I mean, they do have males. Some of the guys that work up at the LA office are fantastic. Kobe, I love, you could start shout a out to Omar. with all your exes, right? No. You work with all your exes? No, no, no. No, we're just saying no. he could say No, 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 no. It no. would be a big brother. <laughs> That'd be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. A lot of flowers. 
No, I would a lot not of give, flowers. No, that's too. No, much. he'd send Tyler to go get them. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. No, no. Um, um, yeah, no. The Oppenheim group. The Oppenheim group is. Um, that's a whole. Did you join them? How did did they reach out to you, the brothers, or did you kind of? How did you get in touch with them? They, I, d- I did not get in touch with them. Uh, production actually reached out to me, um, saying like we're starting a show, and I had no idea who they were. And I mean, it's like. I've been doing this so long that there's been other people who've reached out to me over the course of the last 11 years that are like, we're doing a reality show. And I'm like, I don't click, (laughs) you know, um, don't waste my time. Like I have no desire to be famous. I have no idea, no, no desire to be in the limelight. No, none of it. Right. Um, and my career has blessed me and I've had success. So when they called, they were like, we're going to do this reality show. And I was like, I'm just really not interested. <laughs> Click. <laughs> and they're like, well, you know, trying to get out a few more words. And a week later, they called me back again. And they're like, it's, it's me again. Can I just, have you ever heard of a show called Selling Sunset? And I was like, rings a bell. Yeah, but I don't watch, I don't really watch yeah. television. And he's like, okay, well, have you ever heard of Laguna Beach or The Hills? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Fuck course, yeah. yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> I grew up watching that show. And he's like, okay. That's our show. And I was like, you're kidding. I feel like everyone around the world has seen Laguna Beach. I mean, it, literally, yeah. that's a that big show. That show changed yeah. the fucking like, world, I because swear. Because I, I, I lived in Europe for like four years, and every person in my... I went to a public high school in Europe for yeah. a year, and like random kids would be like, where are you from? California. Oh, have you seen Laguna, Laguna Beach? Beach? No, yeah. Kobe literally, says Hollywood. No, it, but, but like if everyone, you don't. No, I don't say I'm from Hollywood. Oh God. No, I well, don't. Well, you say like oh, Beverly Hills or something. No, we were just in London, and Kobe met a girl. He's like, "Yeah, I'm from Hollywood." Oh, yeah, God. yeah, yeah. That's I didn't terrible. Know. He's lying. To be fair, he's lying. He's lying. to be fair, people in that's bullshit. Europe think that California is Los Angeles. Like you're yeah. from LA. Oh, if you live in California, you live in LA. LA is yeah. dirty. What do you think about LA? I was yeah, gonna LA. ask. What do you know? What do you think about somebody who would rather live in LA over OC? I wouldn't trust him with a 10 foot fucking pole. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. I love it. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? LA is dirty. Have you been there recently? I try to go as, as little as possible. Ky- Dude, bad. I've never seen fear on Kyler's eyes. Like the last time we were in LA, he thought or it was, it was an me apocalypse. Or smelling stuff. It's I don't bad. know. Yeah. It's so, oh God. What if like your friend though want to buy a house over there? I mean, business is business. Yeah. <laughs> business That's is business. It, you know? But That's I would be like, are you sure you don't want to live in Orange County? Like, let me show you some homes in Orange County. Let me show County. you something better in Orange And then let me show you. And nine out of 10 times, unless they have to be in LA. But even if they have to be, it's usually because they work there and they have to drive in. Like, I don't want to drive an hour and a half. I'm like, I promise you, it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. And I've got a client literally that is here tonight from London. And he's here with his family. And he's staying in LA for, for work. And he just got here down to Newport Beach, staying at Lido House. And he's like, it's literally like a weight is off of me, the fact that I'm out of LA. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I can feel it. And Air like, is yeah, clear. No shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he was bitching because he's like, why is there rain? And I'm from England and this is shitty. I'm like, well, at least it gets rid of the homeless for a few days. <laughs> like, at least you don't have to look That's at that shit. That's you bad. know what I mean? All the potholes <laughs> and all that. Bad. It's, it's bad. It's bad. The traffic, every, like, very, there's very few good things about Los Angeles. Who knows? Maybe there's crime. tunnels like New York too under there. Can you? Oh my gosh. Like homeless tunnels? Wait, have you not heard about the tunnels in New York? I don't want to know. I don't, don't want to know. We don't need to get into it. I don't want to know. It. Can you it's already sell depressing. everywhere? Like, I, can you sell in Miami? Like anywhere? No, I mean, that's Florida. No, I, I, I mean, I could. If there was something like... Worth it? You'd, uh, worth it, I'd get my license. How quick can you get your license? I don't know about Miami. It would be, it would, it would depend on... What do you but think if about it's a big it enough Florida. deal, you would just get it done. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What do you think about Miami? I love Miami. Yeah. Yeah, we used to go every year. Um, my ex-husband's Cuban and big Cuban population yeah. there, big Puerto Rican uh, population. Um, and we used to go every year. I come from a big Italian family. I like loud. I like fast paced, like for a little bit, right? Yeah. Um, but the food's great. I'm big foodie. If a Top guy, if a guy, t- if a guy took you on a date to like a pasta place. No, fuck no. I don't you do Italian. Judge that. I don't do Italian. Really? But you're Italian, but yeah. you don't do Italian. I do my own Italian. Okay, oh, that's, I don't that's go real out to Italian. Eat to Italian. That's a. It's like taking somebody like a Japanese person to like to an American sushi. What restaurant. if the guy's like, oh. I'm gonna surprise you, and he takes you to like Italian? What would you do? Would you? Like, I would act say, like okay, great, like but please takes don't you take to me to an Italian on a Monday. <laughs> really? So if you like pulled in the lot, you'd like turn around. Well, no, I would probably make the best of it, and I would order <laughs> something that like wasn't. Something that I make, you know okay. what I mean, or something that my family makes. And there's also a big difference between northern Italian food and southern Italian food. Um, the recipes, the flavors, very, very different. So if it was like, but I just really don't like southern Italian. Where do you foods. find good Italian food in California? 
it's you pretty much my house, yeah. my mom's, my grandmother's, <laughs> like my, my sister's. It's pretty much non-existent. We were just having this conversation the other night because my mom and my sister came over. We're very close. And we made pot. We're like, what are we going to have for dinner? Um, my kids were at their dad's and we just put on a, like made pasta really quick, like a very simple, like it's tomato sauce, the spaghetti takes literally 10 minutes and it's so good. And I was recently in Italy and I had this pasta every single day that I was there. And it was never, I mean, very rarely is it on the menu, but I know that every chef in the back knows how to make this dish. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I was telling mom, I was like, how is something so simple impossible to replicate once you, it's like, once you cross this fucking border, the food changes. And I'm like, there's chefs there. There's Italian chefs that have come from Italy that are first born, like that come here to cook. And it just isn't the same. I'm like, what is it? Maybe the water. It's the water. <laughs> I don't know. I literally don't know what it is, but it pisses me off because there's sometimes where I'm like, I just want to go out and it's have good Italian food, and it's very hard to find. Maybe the sewage from LA. It's I don't oh know. gosh, that's so disgusting. Gross. It's so <laughs> gross. So nasty. So but no, not a lot. When of good you Italian went, spots. like, when you started at the Oppenheim Group, and then when they reached out to you about the show, yeah. Were you already kind of media trained? Like, how did you, how are you so good on camera though? How would I have been media trained? You haven't though, but like, or I don't know. Like, you have a good, like you're I don't good have a background in though. Like no, but like, you're good. Like, people like train. Like, people go to college to do that. You're, uh, you, okay, so Gio, who's on my, who's on, yeah, yeah, yeah. who's okay. one of, who I adore, by the way. He just had a baby, and um, he and I didn't know this, so I tease him all the time. His mom told me like a year after we started the mm -hmm. show. I think we were on like season two at this point. She comes in and his mom is also a realtor. And she's like, I'm just so proud of Gio. Oh my God, this has been his dream forever. Yeah. Oh, no. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, yeah, he went to school. Like he wanted to be on, on film and in TV. And I was like, everything makes sense now. Like, yeah. oh, that makes sense. And he is so fucking good. Is he perfect on camera? He's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. He's so fucking perfect. And it's like you said, yeah, you're right. A lot of people do, but... It, de it doesn't usually just fall into place like that. But it when really it first, out like when the cameras first started going on you, like on the show, because they follow you around, right? Yeah. So like I feel like it's not what everybody, I try to remember what I thought reality TV was like before I was on reality TV, you know? And I don't really remember, but a lot of people think that, that cameras are just like walking around, like yeah. cameras like on their shoulders. Like and no matter what you do, they're just following you around. <laughs> and that's a very, very like old school mentality of how it used to be with with um reality tv like the real world right or like jersey shore and like there are like these cameramen have fucking cameras mm -hmm. on them and they're Sprinting following you around, around everywhere yeah and it's complete that's like i feel like completely unscripted ours is unscripted however they want it to look good like aesthetically so they're like we'll sit there and talk about this okay. or come over here you know or we're gonna move the furniture so that it's you can see the background of the ocean. So mm. it's more like, I would say it's not scripted by any means, but it's more like staged in a way to make it look more attractive, if that makes sense. How, how much does the editing like change the view of like what you think of the cast compared <laughs> to what the viewership would that's think? That's a great question. Like, so that's how much do they twist really, the narrative? That's really, really hard to answer because I'm in it. Yeah. So this is a really hard concept to understand if you've never done reality TV. And this is why people that are in reality television connect because we get it. Yeah. So like nobody understands it unless you've been in it, right? 100%. And that's also why a lot of us who are on the show have really bonded because it's like trauma bonding almost, right? Um, so it's hard. When I say it's hard to answer that, it's because we're actually living it. So in our head, we know the full story. So when we see something on TV and we're like, yeah, that's exactly what happened. We're not realizing that, holy shit, but the audience isn't Thanks seeing what happened 10 minutes before or the week before or the conversation that happened on the phone. Cause in our minds we're like, well, yeah, because we remember it that way. And until the audience then interjects or has their opinion, we're like, Oh shit, that's twisted. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, 100%. Um, so it's hard to see it with, um, without having not like tunnel vision, but without having, um, what's the word I'm looking for? An outside perspective, maybe. Like, yeah, there's another word I've I've used before to kind of describe it, but we have we have bias. Mm. We completely have bias because we know the ins and outs. And it, there's even things that happen where the show will come out, and like we're not there in every scene. We're not there for every filming setting. So there's conversations that are taking place that we're not a part of that we have no idea took place, and we're uh, seeing it for the first time, right? And mm. there's, I mean, it's. The show is a show. It, it's, they want the drama and they want the views and the ratings. And so I get that. Um, 
So they're not like, there was times where the production would be like, stop calling each other after every filming because don't tell each other everything. Okay. And we're like, well, what do you mean? Uh, and they're like, we want like, if Polly's going to tell me something, for example, for the first time, they want my real life reaction. They don't want her to call me and tell me on the phone. And so it's weird. It's definitely takes getting used they to They want it to be like natural. I'm yeah. sure too. Yeah. What do your kids think about it all? My son is too young. He doesn't watch it. My daughter, I think that my daughter's at the age she thinks it's cool. Um, and my daughter is like, I've raised a very bright, very strong, independent woman. She's, I mean, not a woman yet. She's 14. Um, so she's very secure in who she is. And a lot of people will ask me like, oh, do you think it's affecting her? Like, does she get bullied at school? I'm like, first of all, nobody fucking bullies my daughter. <laughs> not a chance. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, and second of all, she's, she knows who I am. Like she knows her mommy. I don't have like, I mean, we don't keep secrets from each other. Like if I, she, I say fuck at home, I say fuck on TV, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I am who I am. Mm -hmm. And so she sees me and she's like, yeah, that's mommy. <laughs> okay. And there might, and sometimes I'm like, well, do, what do you think? Like, how do you think that looks, you know? Cause she has a, a different perspective and she's like, oh, I don't think, you know, whatever. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Hey guys, yes, I'm on a private jet, and none of this would be possible without our sponsor, Zill Media. If you need any social media or any content done or even start a podcast like ours, they are the best in the business. Go to zillmedia.com and mention Basement Talk for a discount on their services. Now let's get back to the episode. But uh, let's get off this fake jet. <laughs> Go get back to the episode. Are, is your producers cool? Are they cool? We have a lot of producers and do you get along with some or do some try to like maybe stir the pot? A sometimes bit more? like we're all together and I'm like, fuck you. I know what you're doing. I know <laughs> yeah, what you're doing. Exactly. Fuck you. Stirring and I was like, I'll say it, but fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But not everybody's like that. I look at it as like it's another job. I put on my hat and you know, I do it and I try not to take it home with me. Like I try not to take that work home with me, which can be very difficult because some of the situations are very real. Um would they have happened if we didn't start a reality show? Probably not. But the fact is, is that we did have start a reality show. And so therefore the situations are real. I saw us. something on Twitter and it was like, well, this show is different, but like the bachelor, mm -hmm. they make everyone drink like a ton of alcohol before the show. I mean, but you guys true? are selling homes. So it's different. You guys are like actually making transactions, Yeah. but do they make you guys drink and I mean, stuff? Nobody make, they're not twisting our but arms like, and we like to have a good but, time. Okay, is it always <laughs> out on the table Pretty when you're much, walking yeah. out? Yeah. I mean, okay. I mean, the, so I dated years ago, I dated a guy who did The Bachelor and he was like, he really opened my eyes. He was the first person I called. I was like, they want to do this reality show. Tell me everything. Mm. And I remember hearing his stories back in the day, but I was, it was like kind of in one ear and out the other because it didn't really pertain to me. So I remember him saying like, you guys don't realize like when we're doing these roast ceremonies, it's like 4 a.m. We're on zero sleep and we're all shit faced or like already hung over from being shit faced from 11 p.m. And now it's 4 a.m. They don't let us sleep. Like they take so long to film. It's like a. Wow. And so that's why Four everyone's like bender. fucking crying yeah. or they're emotional. They look like shit or they're saying we're. He's like, you're literally delirious. And slept in two days. And he's like, I don't even know if they do it on purpose. But that's just what happens. I hope they don't do that with you guys, right? No, I mean, no. I mean, we're not. We're selling. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, well, we're not always selling, obviously. Yeah. Like, there's beach there's a lot days, of casual. There's parties. There's everything. But they definitely, I mean, I think that they know. And here's the truth of the matter. There's a, a, a saying in Italian, in vino veritas, which means in wine, there's truth. And do people get sloppy when they drink? Yeah, if you drink too much. But I think what happens and why they might say like, oh, here's, you know, some alcohol for you guys is because it takes down, it takes your guard down, you relax, and then you see people for who they really are, Yeah. right? People and it's your choice. You don't have to drink, right? They're not, for no one's forcing you to drink. And if you take the drink, you know, <laughs> you take the drink. your fucking you. choice. <laughs> yeah. It's your choice. Like for me, I am who I, like, I'm the same when I drink and I'm the same when I'm sober. I mean- like I said, there's some point where you drink mm. too much and then they're like face down, right? I was gonna but, say. <laughs> but for the most part, like I don't really like when I see myself and I've been drinking, I'm like, I'm a good fucking time. <laughs> I'm not like, mm -hmm. oh God, that was bad. Not like embarrassed. And I think there are some people that are so guarded or so different than, you know, who they really are or want to be. So then when they drink, their true colors come out mm. and they're like, shit. I'm like, yeah, but that's who you fucking are. And I'm glad everybody gets to see it. Does that make sense? What's yeah, your, what's your like drink of choice? Like Ooh. if you're out on a night out, 
I mean, what kind of night out? Um, with your girls. You're, with you're, your at the, you're at the bar and Kobe wants to buy you a drink. What's he buying? Oh my God. Okay, so I okay, so I used to be like a big wine girl. I still love my wine, but if somebody makes a really good cocktail, I'll do a martini, like a like a really good. And I obviously I love an espresso martini, but um, I'm kind of all over the map. It's just like what I'm feeling. I I'm really I am into vodka right now, so. I feel like I get less hungover if I drink vodka. Wine gives me the right. nastiest fucking hangover. It's because of the sugar. It's, it's the worst. so bad. Yeah. Wine it's always so bad. Me What's you the like- worst drink a guy can date, or not a guy can date, a guy can order on a date? Oh, God. Like for himself? Yes. Oh, God. This is an ick, right? <laughs> a milk? Oh, God. <laughs> milk. I, I hope it's not what it was. No, I, like a mojito or something, oh, like or a daiquiri. Moist. I'm like, oh, oh. pina Even colada. If, I don't give a shit if we're on the fucking what beach, toes in pina- the sand. You order a fucking daiquiri, I'm out. Like, no, <laughs> no. Fruity. Guys are not allowed to order. Kobe daiquiri. orders. Guys those. are not allowed to he order orders. blended Kobe drinks. Dude, I don't Kobe order those. Guys aren't allowed to order blended drinks. Anything no. with a little I'm slushy sorry. in it, that's Kobe's like type a little of drink. Slurpy. Okay, I'm yeah. not gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I like margaritas, like. Well, margaritas. What's wrong with a margarita? Yeah. Okay, I don't margaritas know. I was hoping cool. you didn't say oh, that. Oh, no. <laughs> like, if yeah. you don't drink a margarita, I'm probably going to judge you. Yeah. <laughs> Spicy would be then yeah, like leveling I, up a little bit. No. But Mango margarita. Like any fruity, girly drinks. I just, no. Kobe's but, an old-fashioned type of guy. That's, that's, yeah. that's a good choice. Yeah. I, I do know, though, that guys order shit like that. Just to like be cool. I'm like, you don't even no. like that. You don't even <laughs> fucking the, like that drink. Kobe, do you that's like that? That's actually I don't fucking facts, like it. Wait, right? Kobe, do you like old fashioned? No, I don't. They're like, wow. can I get an old fashioned? You can put four cherries in it, please. <laughs> what if I what if I was on a date with you and I had a Moscow mule? Is that like this cut borderline? In it? Okay, that's it. kind of more kind of, uh, kind of but plain. They're good. It's kind of wet. It's the cup that makes it bitchy. It's, it is bitchy. You know what I mean? It's a bitchy. But if you're cup. like, hey, can I get a Moscow mule in a dude cup? I'd be like, okay. What if we were out on a date and I ordered a sparkling water? I mean, nothing wrong with that. That's like that's like European. Like I'm, I'm all for what it. If, what if we're out on a date and I ordered a milk? If you ordered a straw, I'd probably judge you. A that, straw. That would be what about like, a paper yeah. straw? Can I like if you're like, hey, can I get a sparkling water and a straw? I would be like, I hope that's for me. <laughs> and then I would be like, and wow, a bib. That's, that's great, huh? I said and a bib. And a bib. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He does a lot of things. Do you I mean, think? Do you like bars or clubs more? I don't do clubs. No clubs. Mm. No, 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 really? no, no, no. Why? It just chaos i have I enough agree. chaos in my life uh, okay lounge bar or like dancing bar like a country bar oh, or like, oh i love a country bar yeah oh i love a country bar i love a hole in the wall <laughs> bar um i don't like things with like a lot of chaos like i like where unless i'm really like had a lot of, to drink and i'm like that sounds like Couple like you know like where you, and then you're like oh country club sounds fun and you're like oh god i'm gonna regret this in the morning but it, it's not mm-hmm. yeah not my vibe not my vibe. I like to be able to sit yeah. <laughs> if I want um, and talk if I want and have a good drink. Like, not Do a lot guys of- that listen to Morgan Wallen, does that count like for country? Or is that like I mean, yeah. But it's like, or is it Zach Bryan? I mean, how can you not like Morgan Wallen? Morgan I know, Waller, or but Zach like, Bryan. does that count? Like, is that like, okay, I'm a country guy. I think that's like a new age thing. Like, no, you're definitely not a country guy. No. No. Everyone likes I don't like country. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. So my kids don't like country either. It literally is like a knife in my heart. And Kobe's <laughs> asking that for himself, yeah. by the way. I'm going to tell you, though, I have <laughs> converted a lot of people into liking country that said that they didn't like country. So uh, challenge accepted. I'm Kyler gonna be saying like country. my Spotify yeah. playlist. No, Kyler, you're you gonna might have to take Kyler okay, to radio. This. Why don't you like country? I don't know. No, it's just that's like, not an answer. Yeah, ah! bro, he knows why. Just he, be real. He why, He's like, real. you don't lock the twang or like. The, okay, honestly, I guess I haven't tried it. Like, really listen to it, but. There's just like an aversion to it. No, yeah, but he, he has, has a, a, li- a certain personality. You know what's crazy too? Like, he has a he truck. Has like a truck. He has a truck. He has yeah, a truck. He, he, he yeah, likes like, riding dirt bikes. He has he, cowboy boots. He's got shit. country boy in him. Nah, but he's got he's got like what the is long a boy? Yeah. I don't want to be you, that. Like, go out on a date with a girl and she's like, he's got the truck. He had a he's got mullet the boots, too. He's got the mullet. Yeah, and you're like putting rap on. Yeah, that's literally that's such a disappointment. He plays like rap now. I like rock music. He'll play like early two thousands Usher. No. Okay, yeah. so that's okay. Yeah. So like not every day. Stuff. He's like, no. <laughs> no, no he I do that. not. Get a little neo. <laughs> that's all right. Con. I like it. Fuck, I just country is like any time, any place, any mood. I'm down for country. Yeah, there's something country always hits. No, we gotta take him to stagecoach. I've never been to stagecoach. I think we should all go together. I've never, I've never been, been to, to a concert. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> what are you joking? He's my brother. 
I'm not in. I'm not. Wait, you guys are brothers? Yeah. 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 Blood brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Who's older? Same parents. Who's older? You're not serious. Who's older? You didn't tell me that. Yeah, we're brothers. Alex, who's older? Are you fucking with me? You're so full of shit. No, no, no. He's my brother. Same basement. Same yeah, basement. Yes. Wow. Except he sleeps down there. I he don't. sleeps in the basement. That's he sleeps above. Oh my god, you're the guy in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. You're him. I'm him. He's oh the weirdo. my god. I'm him, Kardashian. I need to see pictures of these basements. <laughs> I did not it's know basements. It's not, it's not, it's not like the basement. You're th- like it's not like grimy or anything. Like it's no, like it's luxury sick. basements. I love. I, I have love a basements. Table. I got like my bare bricks. I love basements. I wish more homes had. What's bare bricks? <laughs> no, it's like art. It's art. What is bare bricks? It's, it's a niche art. You wouldn't no, get it. No, we're not showing it. something crazy, but it's just it's like, like I don't know why you have to say it. that. He just, it, he just dropped the bare bricks bro, in there to try it. Like, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the basement. Okay. I'm we actually right. did a pod there last week with AJ Muss. Yeah, shout more, out AJ. Yeah. I don't know when this video is dropping, but AJ, shout out AJ. Look, this is literally. Last week in the basement. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, windows. It's cool. Windows in a basement. Yeah, yeah. You guys it know. You guys have seen there. us in the basement okay. watching. It's out here. It's all right. Look, it's gonna be this okay. is the other side. There's a bar down there. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. I, th- I think That's he thinks really you're cool. hating on the bear bricks. Oh, we see. Is that a real cowboy? or Does he not listen to country music he's either? No, he's actually. He's, he's got a fucking he's got, cowboy hat on, so he better listen to fucking country music. He was in the Olympics. That's cool. Yeah, he's legit. He's he's a cool guy. But yeah, where's his ranch? Uh, Montana? Again? No, not Montana. It was uh, Tahoe. Oh, no, not Tahoe. Like, no, Ohio. 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 No, <laughs> no. It was. It, we don't freaking know. That's, that's the episode. A ranch is a ranch, honestly. Yeah, yeah ranch I'm is not a biased. ranch. But no, yeah. we're brothers. Who do you Actually, think's older? Yeah, who's older? You guys literally look like the exact same age. Dang. You guys are like Irish twins or something. Take a you? guess. No, take a guess. <laughs> You're far apart in age. Uh, yeah. No, not like super far, but they're apart. They're not twins. Why you look so nervous? Because I feel like <laughs> I don't. I'm really bad with age. I'm bad with names, and I'm bad with age. <laughs> I don't know who's older. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say you're older. Mm-hmm. Wow, Dang, I think you're the dude. first person to guess it right. Everybody only because I'm not going is. off of looks. I'm going off of per, like cer- yeah. personality. Yeah, and, I don't. I don't like. But country looks, guys. looks is Kyler winning? No, they look. You guys look the exact same age, honestly. Mm. How far Dang. apart are you guys? Two years. Okay, so you're basically Irish yeah, twins. That's about the same. Irish twins is anything under 18 months. So you guys are like right there. Zach's Irish, right? I'm a, yeah, my last name is Gilligan. Your last name is Gilligan. Like the like island. Like the island. Yeah. Wow. How many times have people said that to you? <laughs> Dude, like the island. I used to walk out of my classroom, work, people are just playing the theme song. It's I my didn't whole even life. know that Gilligan was an Irish name. Yeah. Gilligan. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I didn't even know that was a real name, to be honest with Shout you. Shout out the Gilligans. Gilligan. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back though to real estate. Sure. Um <laughs> No more fun. Yeah. Okay, back to business. Yeah, when you were, when, I, but no, but still, I, I think this is funny. Like, I'm very curious. When you're in an open house, has there ever been a weirdo that walks in acting like he's gonna buy it, but he really just wants to meet you? Mm. Every open house, pretty much. Damn. Really? Before the show. No way. I used to wear a fake wedding ring. Yeah, not that oh, it that's fucking did smart. any wow. good. Wow. But, but still, I guess yeah. it was like, yeah. It, you ever catch Kobe in one of the open houses? No. <laughs> no. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I'm, not I'm a like gentleman. That. I'm a gentleman. I, ha- I literally though, I can. S- uh, that's not true because I did get fucked recently with someone. But but he wasn't. Oh. He wasn't. What? Uh, he wasn't trying to like hit on me. I just. Mm-hmm. He said he was somebody that he wasn't. He tried to buy a house and it was a. It blew up in my face. But mm. so I was gonna say I've been doing this long enough to where I can sniff out like anyone who's not real, right? But I actually, I guess I can't. Um, but before I even started the show, just for women in general, I mean, sales in general, right? <laughs> if it's face-to-face sales, right? Like medical sales or cars or houses, you typically find more attractive people, men and women, right? Yeah. Um, nothing wrong with that. So it's an easy, it, it, we're almost like sitting ducks, women holding open houses. And not only are we sitting ducks because we're alone in a house with a door open, we've got our sign out front. Most of people have like their their name, their phone number, their fucking photo. Yeah, their it's face like, hey. <laughs> Come and fucking rape me, you know? No, seriously, oh it's God. terrifying. It's like, I'm serious. I mean, obviously, you know what I mean. You can't do that. And it's dangerous. And yeah. people underestimate how dangerous it is. I fucking, I swear to God, I almost got kidnapped one time. What? At, at, I'm not joking how? you. By oh, we need to hear this. going to a house that I was opening up for a buyer by myself. And they pulled, uh, and I'm big on energy, right? Mm. And I, I mean, I can also be a little bit naive, but energy doesn't fucking lie. And I, uh, this guy pulls up and he told me he was married. He gets out of the car without, without a woman. And I like already, I was like, this is fucking weird. That's I had a, weird. a really Wait, when did he tell you he's married? On the phone. When I was on the phone with him. On the phone. What a weirdo. He wanted to see one of my listings. And um, 
he gets out of the car and, and it's not a nice car either. And I'm showing like a $5 million house. Oh, and I'm like, why are you in that ugly ass fucking Red flag like, Miata? You know? Damn. <laughs> and it was super, and not to like judge a book by its cover, but that's like instinct. Like it's judgment can, to it can be instincts, right? Um, so I immediately, like he starts walking towards me. He just looks super sus. Like so fucking sketchy. Yeah. His walk was weird too. Everything was weird about this guy. He's he got was some bald, confidence. He was fat. He had a, like a sweatshirt, <gasps> like hoodie that was way too fucking small. And I was like, what is happening Whoa, here? God. That's <laughs> right? crazy. And, and he wouldn't tell me who referred him either. So like these are all learning experiences, right? So yeah. now I do things yeah. very differently. Mm -hmm. um, he would, I was like, oh, how did you get, like, how did you, who referred you to me? And he then he said he like, he just saw the listing online, which I'm like, okay, that's fair. But this is a family home. So he told me he had a wife. So he was like covering all of his bases. Came, sus. So I literally, I have the key in the door and I turned around and I took the key out of the door. And I wasn't going to open the door. And I was like, what? I think his name was like Richard or something. And I was like, Richard? Oh, that's a sus name. And he was like, yeah. yeah. And I was like, stay right there. I'm going to make a phone call. And he's like, well, what do you mean? And I literally like was oh shaking. Oh my God. Because I was yeah. like, oh my God. I'm literally sweating talking oh about this no. right now. You know what's going on. I knew. Yeah. Either That's like crazy. he was coming in the house to do something or... It was just. It was just you. Gonna end That's good. terrible. Yeah. And why that. I think I was gonna get fucking kidnapped is because he went to the back to his door. So he came out of the car, and um, I turned around because I was opening, and I turned around because I heard another door open, and I was like, "Why is he opening? What? That's weird." And I thought, okay, maybe he's like opening. And these are thoughts that are going through my mind like a mile a minute, right? Yeah. So I turn around, and he's got his hand. He's opening the back door, and there's nobody in the back seat. And so like when I went back and I was like retracing my steps after this whole thing. Back seat, so dude. let me tell you how he left. I was like, stay right there. I'm going to make a phone call. He got in his car and he fucking left. Oh my God. That's like, I literally then, have then these actually, that must scare the shit. Yeah. yeah then he actually, I literally the have these bumps talking about this because, and my ex-husband used to be like, you can't go door knocking. Like that's, I'm like, you're just jealous. Like, je like he was very controlling and very uh. jealous. Like that was his personality. And I was like, I'm fine. Like, and I'm like, holy shit. Like, I always have fucking pepper spray. I have a fucking taser. I'm going to get my fucking concealed weapons. I yeah, swear you to God. Should. Like, I'm getting it. I'm going to get one too. If you're and a creep out there, Alex is strapped. I'm Stay fucking away. strapped. Yeah. But it's just very, yeah. and I've heard, like, the more I share that story, a lot of other people are like similar situations oh, that come happen out to and me. See. So, to your question, do creepy guys come into the house during open houses? Yeah, they do. I've had other people come in who have no fucking interest in buying. I've mm -hmm. had guys that, Men that I drive around that have shown me proof of funds, people, and it's such a waste of time. And I spot them from a Just mile they're to get away at you. now. And I'm like, listen, it's like, oh, well, can we grab a drink after this? I'm like, I don't do pleasure unless no. we've already done business. Like Man, business that's first. Annoying. Cause it's a waste of time. And all they want to do, and even if they're even if they are gonna buy a house down the line, I'm not gonna get a drink with you. I'm not gonna have dinner with you. Like I'm not I'm not your arm candy. And I'm not your babysitter. Yeah. Like I'm here, I'm a professional. And if you want to buy or sell a house, call me. What's well, insulting to you. And then well. after we close business, a lot of my clients become my friends. Um, and I'm, I have, you know, the privilege now where I've gotten to a certain place in my career where I can cherry pick my clients. Right. And so it, it's an energy exchange and they appreciate me. I appreciate them. And they do become my friends. Like this, these are big transactions. Even if it's a million dollar transaction for those people, it's a very, probably the most important transaction of your life is buying a home, one of them. And so it's almost, it's very intimate, right? And these people trust me and I trust them and it's, it's a process. And so these people become like my friends and my family. And after that, we can go, we can go to fucking Ritz Carlton. You want to yes. go to Lido. You want to go to Pelican Hill. Mm -hmm. Where do we want to go? Let's hang out, right? <laughs> how, but we got to do business. How first. expensive, like, do you need to buy a house to be on this on the show? What like, do you mean, like, like to have a buyer or a seller on the show? Yeah, like if I'm trying to buy like a seven hundred thousand dollar home, you're not going to put on the show, it's right? It's not that. Here's what I'm going to tell you: yeah. when it comes to the show, it's not the house; it's the story. It's usually. the story, usually, unless it's a very, very glamorous house, then the story doesn't really matter. But it's, it's the story. It's the connection. It's even if it's a $700,000 house, if there's a good story between the agent and the buyer, there's a story. If How there's a good story between like what the house, you know, what, what's going on with the house or anything like that, it's, it's really more about the story. I know you sure. guys are like super competitive. You guys are all salespeople. Mm -hmm. How are the leads like distributed? There are no office? leads. We don't it's get all referral. Leads. It's all, it's all business. No, there's no leads. So you get your own leads. That's crazy. Jason, I mean, 
Are there like does he will will he like hand feed some deals to girls that you notice? Spoon feed him. Yeah, yeah. it's not mm. cars, man. Mm-mm. No, but no. you never know, dude. No. Like I don't want her to like get t- like. This I, is what Jason know, says. I'm looking out for you know. Jason says that leads go to, you know, the top earning agents, right? But <clears throat> there, it's not like the phone is just ringing off the hook to the brokerage. Usually, if somebody's like knows what agent they want to work with, they're going to call that agent directly. Or if they're calling the brokerage, they're like, Hey, I want to talk to Alex or Hey, I want to talk to, you know, geo. Um, but it's not like a ring ring. Oh, I want to sell my house. Send somebody over. Right. And a lot of the times if they're doing that, Jason's going or Brett is going mm. right. Um, and Jason will bring us on stuff. If he knows it's like a certain territory, like I live, um, Dana point, San Clemente, San Juan Capistrano, mm. uh, you know, Laguna is more my area. Cause I live over there. Um, So he'll ask me if I want to take on, you know, to go on a listing appointment or something like that. But he's not like just throwing us leads. No, no. You're like one of the only people on the show that actually live in Orange County too, correct? No, no, we all live in Orange County. Oh, you all live in Orange County? Yeah, I'm just the only one that doesn't live in Newport. (laughs) Oh, really? Most of them live in Newport. They're all in Newport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's go back to weirdos for a sec. Okay. What's the weirdest DM you've ever gone? DM? Like direct message. Don't say me. No, okay, so, (laughs) God, weirdest. (laughs) Kyler. Weirdest DM. I don't know. I'm a pretty weird person, so it takes a lot to weird me <laughs> out. Um, here's the thing. I don't... So I only receive messages from people that I follow, and then they go to like a separate folder. And those are really weirdly organized, so I don't really get a lot of those messages, and they like sift through them, right? Um, that's probably how I saw your DM. Yes. Um, or did you comment on a photo or something? I think I, I, think I messaged you. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, th- but when I do go through them, it's usually just like creepy guys that are like, mm. <laughs> I want, I'll pay you. Bunch of Kobe's. Like, yeah. Like, Was hi, it- hi, <laughs> are you looking for a sugar daddy? I'll pay you 10 grand a month. Were you still like getting like guys hitting you up like this before the show or was it no, after the God show? God, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. I mean, my whole profile was like all just like my kids playing. Yeah. Like I wasn't getting creepers in there. How weird is it for you to like start a relationship and then watch it play out on the show? Have I done that? With Tyler? Oh, God. Jesus Sorry. Christ. Didn't, oh, didn't mean to name drop. Fuck. Did you, like, have I done did you that? <laughs> Sorry. Did you walk did that happen? It was, like, it was on TV. Oh, yeah. God. Wait, did, you, oh. did you say with Tyler? No, with Tyler. It could be Kyler. Oh, no, no. It, though. no, he said Tyler. Oh, um, I was like, what? Yeah, that was very interesting. Mm. That was very interesting. Um, Season three is coming out. Yeah. In like less than a month, I would assume. They don't tell us anything, but... It has to be coming out soon because they said either the beginning of this month or next month. So. Oh, yeah. The last scene of season two was you in the hot tub. Yeah. That feels like a lifetime ago. That was over a year ago. Is that weird? And you can't talk about it. So when people like come up to you, I can talk about that. season two. I, well, here's the thing. I haven't seen season three. So I, yeah. there's so much that goes on, you guys. It's three months of filming nonstop. And then it's like you could be a four hour scene that we film and you guys get three minutes of it or it's, it gets cut. Like, it, so I don't know why, what they're going to air, what that, they're going to show, what direction. Why Why did you like him? Yeah, he, he was, was macking friend. on other girls on yeah. the show, Tyler too. Tyler was my friend. Um, and we had a lot in common in a lot of ways. And when he went through his divorce, like, I've been married, I've been divorced. And Tyler leaned on us a lot, like, a lot of the other cast members, too. Because, again, like I said before, we trauma bonded, right? Like, no one's going through this except us. Like, we have our outside lives, but filming it and going through it, like it takes a toll on you and nobody gets it like the people that are going through it with you. So, um, and I think it was just like the perfect, I don't know. Romeo Juliet. No. (laughs) TV fling. Uh, To be honest with you, when I first, like my sister used to say all the time, season one, she's like, oh my God, like Tyler's like so hot. And I was like, what? Ew, really? (laughs) Ew. I'm like, you're just looking at his like muscle and like he's tall and he has tattoos. Like, but. I'm like, but look at the other qualities, you know? Oh God. And again, I'm really big on energy and Tyler doesn't have like big dick energy. Like he has like, damn Tyler, you know what I mean? Damn he Tyler. And so I was like, I don't I'm like, I'm not attracted She's big on energy to you, too. but I, I feel I'm comfortable because I, you know, I'm your friend and I was like, this could get really weird or it could be the best thing ever. And then everyone's like, just do it. Just do it. You guys are friends. Oh my God. Sometimes the perfect relationships come from friendships. And I'm like, I just don't know. And so, and it plays out in season three. Do you I think girls see. and guys can be friends? No. Yo, that's I love sick. that. Not really. I mean, they can be. That's not true. I think they <laughs> can be, 
but they probably that's too broad it's okay. it's, it's too it's broad. hard best it's, friends if they are both single yeah mm. but i think it's inappropriate to have male and female best friends when you're in a relationship mm-hmm mm. See, so you can't, yeah, that's, yeah. I agree with that. No, it makes like sense. you can have couples that are friends, right? And yeah. like, let's say I'm married and I've got a friend and they're married and I'm really close with the husband and I'm close with the wife and so is my husband and it's like this thing, right? Yes. Um, and sometimes her husband calls me and like, hey, and like you can be close and comfortable, but not like best friends, yeah. right? Um, not like, oh, I'm going to lunch with Tommy, you mm -hmm. know? And my husband's like, wait, what the fuck are you talking about? You're not going to lunch with your fucking dude, like, unless I'm fucking there. Um, <laughs> And I respect that. And I don't think, I think a lot of the times, and it's, and not to put it more on the men, but I think more times than not, if there are two people, male and female, that are best friends or very, very, very close, and you ask that guy if he would fuck that girl, he would say yes. Oh. Almost 100% of the time. I had to press Zach on that once. That's yeah. not a friend. If you want to fuck them, they're not friends. You're not their friend. They're not, you're not friends. That's what like, it comes down to. Cause everybody I mean? has an intention behind it. Too. Right. And they might not like that. Might, that might not be like front of mind. Like every time you see them, like, wow, I just can't wait to like, I would love to do that. <laughs> oh, but God. the fact that you would, terrible. I think it has to be like either two really ugly, but even then it's like an emotional thing. Isn't it? Even mm -hmm. if you're both really unattractive, <laughs> yeah, well, like, I, it becomes an emotional no, thing. <laughs> yeah, say it, say it. It's just, I think it's, it, do I think it, it, that it can be? Yes. Do I think it's inappropriate? Yes. Yeah. Zach, what true, were you going to say? How how real is the beef with you and Jarvis and Rose? I don't have beef with Jarvis because I don't fucking talk to her. It um, sounds real. She just is, you know, she does what I like, in my opinion, she's just mm. and like talks about me or is like trying to say something that contradicts anything that I will say just to like be dramatic or be relevant or whatever. Um, I don't have beef with Rose. Rose, I, on, like I honestly, she's just like. I look at her like a little like puppy and I'm like, I know you're saying things and I know that you're being a bitch, but like, do you even know that you're being a bitch right now? Like, are you trying to be a bitch? So there's this weird element with Rose that I have. Um, she's very easy to just like forgive. Like, I don't, it's almost like uh, she's so, you know, not doo -doo. there. Yeah. Do, you know, do you hang out with a lot of them like outside of the show? I, uh, Polly is one of my <clears throat> dearest friends. Uh, I'm actually pretty close with Gio and his wife, Tiffany. I'm very close with Austin and his wife, Lisa. And, you know, we've got other, also other agents in the office yeah. that we're very close with that aren't um, on the show. Um, but yeah, and I mean, Any he more? He huh? Season yeah. three. Yeah. I mean, and the only reason I'm saying this is because we filmed a, um, we filmed, we very briefly went into Selling Sunset's um, reunion. They had a few of us cast from OC and they showed like a trailer of what season three was going to be. And we, none of us had ever seen it. And we're like, holy shit. Um, and it got brought up that Tyler and I like don't, don't talk anymore. And um, so that's why I'm like, I don't, I don't feel like I'm spilling the beans. Oh, okay. What are you like know? three red flags about a guy? About a guy? <laughs> I got a lot of questions about guys. I'm trying We're to help guys. the boys. Yeah. The male, the male <laughs> audience. Hey, okay. I'm helping you boys. I like it. I like 96%. it. 96%. Um, three We're guys. 96. Only three. There's a lot. I mean, guys, okay, guys can have more. a lot. So can girls. Girls can have a lot of red flags too. Um, red flag. Red flag. Red flag. What do you think red flags are? For yeah, like Kobe. a girl? For a guy. For a guy? For yeah. a guy? How would he know? Because he's attracted mean? to guys. I, don't, I know uh, red no, flags no. for girls. True, true. I know what a red flag in a girl would be. Um, I mean, guys too, like dirty ass shoes. Oh, or, is that a thing? Dur uh, what about that's what, that's what he usually says about, what about cowboys. Yeah. See, well, like and construction workers, let them ride. I'm like way deeper. I'm like not on a superficial, like aesthetic. Like, are you or like, like, if like a guy character walks, traits, like moral compass type of like, I think red a flag? guy that doesn't have, that's not ambitious is a red flag. A guy yeah. that is like, oh, I'm just like working my nine to five and you know, I'm happy and I'm content and this is what it is. And I'll get my raise when I get my raise. And I'm like, Oh God, no. Um, mm. not necessarily a red flag, but like deal breaker. Mm. Um, I think that another like deal breaker red flag would be somebody that doesn't have a good relationship with their family or their mom or, I mean, there's exceptions to that, you know, 
but I'm very family oriented. And I think not, and it's sad because it's not their fault even sometimes, you know, but if you don't have a close relationship with your parents or somebody who is like a parent parental figure or siblings, it, you're not going to be as well rounded. Like you're not going to be, you know, and it's not lack even like their fault sometimes. Huh? Mm. I feel like they lack accountability too, because they don't have like, I a think a lot of people just life. lack accountability in general. Um, but True. another red flag for guys, huh? Honestly, I'm going to say this, even though I talk to a lot of my exes, but still talking to their exes. Damn. That's facts. That's a red flag. Damn, flag. that's a red flag for sure. <laughs> and it's that's like, so we're just true. friends, even though I'm that person. I'm like, but we really are just friends. No, 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 no that's no. true though. Like some of them no, are remarried true. and I'm friends you with actually, the wife. And you're like, actually yes. friends with your exes. Yes. Like hell too. Wait, wait, wait. No, you're, you're not. You're saying, I'm not saying not friends like, like we're going out to lunch. I'm Most state. of them like live in different countries or like have been remarried and have kids. But you're just, ha- it's not like you go out and get lunch with them, And I don't talk to them all the time. It's like every now and then like, how are the kids? Or, oh, hey, like I got a friend that is buying a house or like, hey, like Wow. Very, like not but how many do you end up, I uh, don't know if this is too raw, but like sleeping with after the fact? Nev- I never. Never? What what, like, what do you mean? Because I feel like any guy that I know that still talks to his ex, if he's talking to that ex, he's still sleeping with her here and there. 100%. Yeah. 100%. And 100%. they're not hanging on unless they still want to be having sex with that girl. Does uh, that make sense? Yeah. It's all. It's the fallback. It's always like, or it's like I'm dating you and we're out to dinner, but I'm still talking to my ex because that's who I want to fucking be with. Mm. Like, Kobe's looking awfully quiet right now. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I getting bagged on? <laughs> I'm getting bagged yeah. on. Or someone who's on their phone too much. Also, hey, you're going to get me down a rabbit hole because I'm going to start naming off all the things that are like. Go for it. Like no, go, guys go. that are on there and girls. Like I'm like, if you're, why are you so addicted to your fucking phone? What like, if it's business though? Sales there's a certain time. Like if you're with, if you're dating somebody and I, I'm like, I'm guilty, right? Yeah. But like if I'm on a date, I'm making you a priority. And unless it's my kids calling, my phone's down. Mm. Like, that's what if it. you like really like the guy, but you found out like. A year later, that like he did OnlyFans. So that's really weird that you say that. He did OnlyFans. Yeah. Because I, I had a guy ask me out on a date recently and I went to his Instagram. No. And Link there's tree? an OnlyFans. It said OF. Oh, and I God. didn't even know what that Was it Tyga? No. I know Tyga. What? Did is that. he on OnlyFans? Yeah, he does. Ew. She's Bro, like, I got to check like that five out. Bucks. I don't even know. It's like what. five bucks. And here's the deal. Like, I'm How sure. do you know that? <laughs> My friend told Wait, me. wait. <laughs> Kobe. Um, no, my Why friend. You know, okay, me. wait, that would have went over Your our heads. Friend, like, it's just five bucks. How do you know the price range wait, on Tiger's I, only I'm not dude. Is that, how do you know that? Because this answers. girl told me. This girl told Bullshit. me. Bullshit. I okay. swear. He's just Why like would randomly I? having conversations. <laughs> no. Like, by the way, you know Tiger only charges $5 for I know, I know a girl that Tiger slid in her DM and she told me. <laughs> Is Tiger the one that had a baby with Kim Kardashian? Yeah. No. no. No, yeah, no, he dated no, Kylie. Kylie Jenner. I mean, I'm sorry, Kylie, had a baby with yeah. Kylie a, Kardashian. No, he didn't have a baby. But Kylie they dated. Kardashian. Oh, okay. Kylie Jenner. Whatever. <laughs> Kylie Jenner. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Why do you know the price range on the OnlyFans? Yeah. I got told that. That's why. Why would I go on a guy's OnlyFans? Who told or you that? That's what we're trying to find out. Okay, we got to bleep out the name, but <laughs> told me. Oh, okay. really? Oh, oh yeah, we technically. Okay, that okay, that makes fine. sense though. It's in a range of you guys know more about that probably than than I would ever know. You got to bleep that out. Can you write that down, bro? Okay. Sorry. No, we're chill. We're chill. Okay. okay. Yeah. But no. It's, I, I, okay. Okay. Wait, wait, finish your. You go to his Instagram account. See the OnlyFans account. Well, said what's OF? Yeah. What's like, your what first question of? after I'm that? Like of. of. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. But I'm going deep, right? Like I'm yeah. checking. You know those little tabs like underneath the picture where it's like, what are they called? Like when oh, you say highlights. 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 I'm like going through all the highlights, yes. right? Oh no. And I don't like girls it said with highlights. OF. And I'm like, okay. Whoa. And then I'm like looking at. I'm like, I don't get it. Like, and there was like a link. <laughs> and the link takes you to only Was there fans. like a little chili emoji? Did you subscribe? No. no. I don't even know if it was a subscription. There's a lot of photos of him in his underwear. And I'm like, mm, this is not going to work. It's <laughs> not going to work. And then I actually knew somebody many moons ago that does OnlyFans. And he's like, it's it's just a lot of gay dudes. And he's like, and it's just my, I mean, my underwear. Like, it's not like I never show my dick. I'm like, I still like don't so have respect bad. for you. Like, that's go, you're like, a man. Yeah, that's you know? like so no, for unmasculine. Sure. And then That's he's like, like some he'll beta send, energy. Bro, imagine him taking pictures in his undies. Like he every said, day. he would yeah. send <laughs> his like dirty like. Oh he's yeah. He's like I like guys have paid him. Gay guys have paid, and he's hot as fuck. No, <laughs> so but he's like I've gone to the gym, and guys want want me to go to the gym, sweat in my underwear, and then mail them to them, and Dang. they pay me five. Grand. And has he done it? Mm-hmm. How much did they pay him? Five grand. That's wild. Boxers. Would you guys do that for five grand? I, I mean, I would do that. For I might grand. start a factory. I would do that. For I five would grand. do it for like a thousand. 
Dude, How for, many girls do you think are on OnlyFans? Like, I'm so naive when it comes to this. Oh my god, a million. You know, are what's there one like, out of are you every able 10. to be like slyly on OnlyFans? Like, no one I'll, knows. I was gonna, say, no. but I don't, I don't think they make money because then they're not promoting exactly. themselves. You know, catch twenty two. I was gonna either say, either gotta go like big or go yeah, home. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yes, but there I'm, are there's like local girls we go, we went to high school with that you're like oh crap. but is it, like, it but it is it's true that it's not always like sexual right like it no, can just be like just, I mean, it can be bikini it's stuff. basically what chicks are already doing on fucking exactly Instagram, Instagram, right? Instagram's crazy but it's they're already, paying, guys are paying to see yeah. it instead of just I just going don't on understand why guys would pay to do that to see if it's only you and your bikini they when they can just go to your Instagram women, they're enabling women to I don't even know I don't want to get too deep it's a totally vicious cycle like I've gone down that whole thing where I'm like the women are bad, right? For, like the, the women are fucked up for doing it, but they're also just taking advantage of an opportunity because the men are fucked up and they're paying to do it. So it's like, who's really like, who's the problem here? We're both, yeah. If there, it's a supply and demand thing. There's definitely demand, yeah, and that's a problem. And they're just because <laughs> women have the option, and we're enabling just, yeah, the option exactly. by. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy. So I don't know who's worse. Boys, I'll, stop buying OnlyFans. Let's yeah, change America. Happen. I'm seriously. I was gonna say I just had a conversation recently with a girl where she's telling me, "Oh yeah, I started an OnlyFans like a couple months ago, and she has like fifteen hundred, two thousand followers." She's like, "Yeah, I made like five hundred bucks." I'm like, "How many oh, bucks? No. Five hundred? Maybe she said like four grand in a month. In a month, I don't even get out of bed for fucking five hundred. dollars Okay, That's and true. exactly, it's like, why would you do that? Why? But daddy even issues. a million, and what is that issues. worth to you? And yeah. it's it sucks. <laughs> it's crazy Fact. because. There are girls that are probably starting it like her yeah. that are just not. But they have no idea. Like you as a mother, like, mm -hmm. could you imagine your kids having that information oh, of man. you on the internet? Like, I mean, but can you, is it like, is it like, um, I don't even know. Like, is it a possible scenario in your head to imagine yourself at 20, 21 years old? Like having that as an option, would no. you do it? No. What if the bag was big enough though? That's an easy out. That's yeah. just an easy out. Like. These are our bodies, okay? You can post pictures, and if you do it, you're gonna make money. But it's an easy out, like you. And if somebody's like, "Oh, well, I'm doing this to like provide for my kids," fuck you. No, you're not. Mm. You could go and do anything else if you have enough time on your hands. You've got enough brains to operate a business. Which, if you're on OnlyFans, you're operating a fucking business, okay? You can have enough brains to go and do something else where you're not exploiting your fucking body for money. Sorry, hundred percent. Like, don't tell me it's about your kids. Don't tell me it's for the greater good. It's not. It's because it's easy. That's it. Boom, That's true. Dude. Just own it. And I would never date a girl with one. Uh, sign me up. I'm on the same list. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought you meant no, you no, not the woman. Don't sign me up. Sign me up. Sign me up. I'm on the same like, page. Every OnlyFans girl, yeah, come here. Just, just hit up Kobe. <laughs> me and Kyler want the church girls. Here's the thing, though, too. Guys are weird. Guys want. I remember when I first got divorced, and I wasn't working, I was hardly working, and I had two kids. I was like, guys saw me, and they were like, oh my god, this like damsel in distress. Like they were like, let me save you, and I was like. Okay, <laughs> cool. But then I got, you know, heavily into my career and became like this boss woman, which I don't mm. want. This is like by survival instincts. Like I don't want to be this boss bitch. Like I want to be, love being a housewife. Just, you know, so you guys know, love that. Love raising kids. But I had to have a career to provide for my children and myself. So once I got into that career and made, started making money, guys are like a true masculine man actually is somewhat deterred from that type of a woman, right? They want a nurturing, a, you know, feminine, feminine, feminine woman yes. who is that they can take care of. Right. And I'm like, I'm all of those things. Yeah. I just, this is where I'm at in my life right now because I have to be. Mm. So you want to take care of me, sign me fucking up. Right. But I'm always going to work, but I want to work because I want to work, not because I have to work right now. I work because I have to work. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, mm. you know, further down the line, if I get remarried, I don't, I'm not going to continue like to being like this crazy entrepreneur that, yeah. you know, I'll have my businesses in line, but it's because I want to, not because I have to. So the hustle will go down. I don't know if I've said this on the pod before, yeah. but I think it's very unattractive when a girl's working super hard 100%. and like, I hate that. Yeah. But why do you hate it? Cause I'm, I'll do that. Yeah. See? Stop. Yeah. Just your job. Make me yeah. food when I get home. Well, especially like when they're like, I'm so fucking stressed out. Like you're like, why do you work so fucking hard? Like, stop. Yes. Cook for me, love me, take yes. care of me, and that's it. Hundred percent. That's awesome. Agreed. Kobe, you agree? No. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you mean? No, I don't know. No, I'm just messing. I'm just joking with him. No, my buddy's like, oh, I want to be like, a, I want to wear like a number one dad apron. Oh, we like, do like have a, friends like, like that. Yeah, we have friends that want to be like a morning. And I want my wife that's to cute. Work. I mean, whatever. No, it's but like it's not super though. beta. Like, you're being the bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Super beta. <laughs> yeah, that's like super <laughs> wet. That's like Tyler energy for real. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's Tyler energy. You said it. I mean, I think it's Tyler's good that dads beta. are involved. Tyler's would you, would beta, you ever switch Tyler's the T out for a K? Oh my dude. That took me a second. That took me a second. I think I think you you soften when you become a father, I think. Um, like a little bit, not like wanting to like bake cookies every day and like <laughs> yeah. be like PTA, but there's a certain degree where it shifts a little bit, Daddy but daycare. I think innately, okay. A very, a feminine woman, feminine. Why is that word so fucking hard to say today? A feminine. Am I saying it right? Feminine? Feminine. That sounds fucking weird. Cinnamon. A feminine Cinnamon. woman wants a masculine man and a masculine man wants a feminine woman. So that's innate. That's in our DNA. Sometimes we get fucked up and we've got traumas that, you know, make us want other things that don't align with that. Hmm. But truly, if you are, you know, in your true feminine state and masculine state, those two are attracted to each other. So are you saying then because you're a woman who's like more in power, would you want a more sensitive guy? Absolutely not. No, no but those are the ones that are drawn to me because yeah. Yeah. I almost have a more masculine male energy because I'm, I hustle and I work and I'm out of survival though. That's who I am. She but if has I'm, to, I have to be, but what I want is a masculine man, but a masculine man looks at me and he's like, yeah. you're too, f they're like, it, it's almost like this <laughs> weird thing that go, and I see their head spin off their body. Cause they're like, Oh my God, like I want you, but it, this is weird because you're, here, you're, you're not like it's, there it's type of thing. Wow. Yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Like I want to be feminine, yeah. but until like, so you'd have to turn that part of yourself down to get 100%, with that type of guy. And I can, and I do, but I can't let go of that entirely yeah. because I have to provide. That's really open-minded. I, I don't think a lot of women, women would think like that though. To like, oh, I don't want to be the is, boss bitch. Is it yeah. hard I don't be though to turn that off when you're so in it? Absolutely. It's very yeah. difficult. It's, you have to be very conscious of it, which I didn't do for a very long time. And I thought it was actually like an attractive quality because I was like, these guys know I'm not a gold digger. Like I don't, I don't need anything down uh -huh. to like even children. I'm 34 years old. I don't need your money. I don't need children. I have my own children. I'm very happy. I don't need your house. I don't need your car. I provide all of that for myself. And I was like, that's got to be attractive, a right? Yeah. It's not because for somebody who can provide those things, they don't want the woman that can provide it for themselves. And then I used to think, oh, it's because you're insecure and like you want to control me and like buy me everything. And I'm like, no, these are just truly like, and sometimes it is, it can be a certain degree of that, but these are just truly masculine men that want to provide and that's it. I don't, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. What do you think about Andrew Tate then? Who's that? Is that a football player? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Is it? He's, he's so on the Chiefs. Sick. He's on the Chiefs. He's on the Chiefs. No. Why should I? Why am I supposed to know him? He's on oh, no, no, Super Bowl. Mind. No, but he's, he's, a, he's just soup, like this masculine guy on social yeah. media. But is he actually masculine? Because exactly. there's like yes, a false is. sense exactly. of masculine. Yeah, I don't where know. Like, no, oh, he's I'm, like a professional kickboxer and stuff. He's but like, you can do all of those things and you go home and you're a little bitch. Yeah, exactly. Oh. He's a little bitch. I'm serious. Like you can have muscles and you can fucking chop wood and yeah. start fires. <laughs> listen to country music. And listen to country music, yeah. but then you go home and you cry like and you're like, there's nothing wrong crying. Okay, but like being like. Not like not assertive, not making plans, not prov like not wanting to take care of your woman. Like I've dated guys who they're like, oh, I love that you work. And I love that. Like, I, I know I'm not in the trenches alone. I'm like, fuck <laughs> you. I don't ever want to be in the what fucking you, trenches. Yeah. Get fucking lost. What if you yeah. came Get out home? the basement. What, yeah. if, what, if, <laughs> <laughs> what if you came home and you saw like that Tyler guy, like laying in bath bombs and shit. <laughs> so I don't think okay, so here's the thing. Like I don't Alex, think Tyler yeah, can Alex, can you make me pasta? Yeah. I love to cook. That's my love language. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. You wouldn't be surprised. Damn. Damn. No. L for Tyler. Tyler's not, chat. and I don't want to fucking talk about Tyler. He's, but he's not like it's hard to explain. He's not masculine. Like he's not, I'm sorry. He's not like I don't think I didn't I didn't that's not what I meant. Oh, no, no, I didn't, she didn't mean, mean that. She didn't mean that. I I I wouldn't like expect him to be in a bath full of bath bombs. He's emotionally though, like, just has very He's like. A, if a bath bomb was a human, it'd be him. No. Okay. It's no. No. What he's, no. he's like a scented lotion. No, or? I'm saying that he is emotionally like not like he's just like a bitch. Oh yeah. He's cowardly. <laughs> he's cowardly. He's not assertive. He doesn't take the bull by the horns. He, he's just 
it has a lot of like cowardly tendencies and that's not very masculine. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, is that yeah. everything, boys? I think the boys are going to like that yeah. one. Oh, the boys are going to love this. Which this one? was this was Off a very good episode. Good. I'm glad thank I could you. provide. Thank yes. you so much you're for coming so on. Yeah, thank you. Kyler, Zach, you're the best, though. Thank we you. love you. Thank you for coming on. So fun. Maybe so part, time, part like, two in the future, bring it to a house. Next time, we should have, like, like I said, I'm on a vodka kick. Uh, I do like yes. vodka. Wine, champagne. We'll, 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 Hopefully, we get a sponsor. You guys are guys, though. I'm just teaching you. Next time, you have a female on the on the show. Yes, ma'am. Be like, can I offer you an alcoholic beverage? I should have said that. I know we have helpful. some. Yeah. There you go. My bad. You guys are learning. We just yeah. have learning, water. Learning yeah. experience. It is. But yes. yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Please like, subscribe. Um, if this video gets one like, should go on a date with Kyler. Oh, God. whoa, whoa. I or did, two likes. I didn't two likes. Say we'll that. go two likes. Are we you pimping me out? No, no what no, is no, going no, on? Am I getting, dude? Don't Everything, I have no, to no, agree? No, no. Everything's consensual. No, Everything's if this consensual. video gets two likes, <laughs> Kyler like will it. take I her like on it. a date. The, and it can't be all of you guys. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Just be just Kyler. Yeah. But thank you guys for watching. We love you guys. Subscribe. We'll see you next week. Peace. Jay with a baby, I am what he made me. No, you cannot shame me. So it's for the birds. Buy for a price, you ain't know what it's worth. He not letting go like it's grandma purse.